It's a link, it's not a long story, huh? It's a very short story, huh? <laughs> but I just like to introduce myself, whatever I have. My background basically is, is a business education. That one, I put a lot of years into it, so we can share. Huh? So this is one of my profile, very short, or too fast. Okay, I am basically a lecturer, okay? And uh, I have some skill in this uh, business lecturing, and also some life skill. Of course, IPC, I cannot compare with Mr. Ling, but I have some idea. Most of my most of my area that I I am interested in uh, is to is in this what we call LMS. Uh. When we talk about LMS, we're talking about somehow or other learning system. Uh. Now, now a lot of things is on uh, so-called internet. And a learning system is not as simple as what we think. Uh. There's a lot of things to learn about. Uh. So the idea of learning system is what we call a branded learning system, uh, whereby we actually read, collaborate and track. It's not easy, it's just teach like that, you know? especially student. There's a lot of things you can, you can do, you can think about it, you can have a lot of plan first like, before we actually do the thing. So my resume is talking about uh, my profile like, and as a teacher. Like. And now lately I talk about trainer. I'm quite comfortable with leadership uh, academically uh, concept like. and also implement to make sure that my students get the best. And most of, most of, a lot of my students have so, somehow rather very high grade. Lah, huh? So this is my, my expertise. Lah. And my student is ranging from three to 70. Lah. These are my students which I used to teach. Lah, which are also teaching some of this now. Lah. Now a bit less lah, because all oh, really. Okay, I also involved in some strategic uh, management uh, and uh, some kind of technical support. Uh. I was a factory manager in uh, Toshiba too. Uh, and somehow or other, I also involved in the Six Sigma. When we learned Six Sigma, it was a long time ago, 20 to 30 years back. Now, just getting popular. Six Sigma is totally different from design totally thinking. Different from design. It's different, it's, it's totally different. different from, sorry? It's totally different from design thinking because Six Sigma is using the right brain, logic. Design thinking, we're talking about empathy, we're talking about left brain, we're talking about feeling. So later we talk about it. Lah. And I also spent some time in the NLP talking about psychologies and things like that. So we can share some of the experience. So these are my area of uh, liking. Lah. And now look at my hobby. Lah. I like dancing, gardening. Anybody here like dancing, gardening? And I also do a lot of hardcore home repair, la, PC and all this. Stuff from a day when I was in poly. Yeah. And uh, I get very interested. La. So now also I do a fair bit of gardening. La. So we can share. La. If we got Chan, you put me inside down here, we can talk a lot of things that I'm so-called passionate with. La. So far, this is my interest. La, and this is also my expertise. La so-called. Uh. Of course, there are a lot of people who are getting more involved in this area. But the thinking now is much more on new concept. So what is new concept? Today, my topic most probably where we need to talk is about learning. Why learning is so important now? Because, because of this COVID-19, uh, basically, I lost quite a lot of my job because of COVID-19. And uh, most of which was shifted to online. So from this what we call a uh, uh, break. Now we go to online, then there's a lot of things that we need to learn. Uh. So I tend to be getting very interested in this. So if I got a chance, I share with you. Uh. Okay, so that is a little bit of my story about myself and what I'm involved with. So let's look at today's topic. Huh? I, have quite a, I have quite a lot of things lined up for, for, 
for this uh, so-called concept. Uh, I, I, so let's look at this uh, mind mapping, uh, so-called. Uh, this mind mapping, we can learn a lot from this uh, because at one glance, we can discuss about what we are going to do. Uh. So I take some time to prepare this. Uh, I take time, time. This one is done by the visual. Uh. Right, and then it's very good after doing it. Uh, it's easy for us to so called to talk about it. Uh. So I have a thing lined up for today. Uh, but if you are interested, then we go go bits by bits. In a workshop, actually, you can learn quite a lot because now these few articles get very in, important. So the first thing is Moodle. Moodle is a very powerful software, and it's not easy to 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 use it. Uh. So I think I take this chance to try to share my knowledge with you. Uh, and I try to take about half an hour on this area. Okay, and then also we have uh, one quarter hour on uh, Google Classroom. Uh. It's much easier. Uh. I will show you. Actually, I prepare for some hand-on, uh, but Mr. Lim said most of us are a little bit inactive. Uh, so I just show you. Uh, and if you want a bit more in-depth, we can discuss further. Uh. Even you can call me, uh, I can discuss with you, no problem. So we talk about Moodle, we talk about Google Classroom, then we talk a little bit of how this uh, so-called tracking system work. So we call what we call a Scrum system. This Scrum system is a very powerful system, right? This, and then we also talk about new concept of teaching the kids. Teaching the kids is a bit different from teaching adults. So these are teaching adult and these are teaching kid. So we got pilot. Pilot is actually an electronic bulletin. And it's near port. If you like later, you can try it. We have some games uh, to actually teach you how to learn. And we have even now, even the Brambi 3 or Brambi 4 student that I teach, uh, they start to learn coding. And they learn coding in the easy way. Uh. They learn coding by connecting this uh, JavaScript. So later I show you uh, how they do. And we got more time now, uh, we look into some social media. Uh. I think everybody already know what is Instagram, uh, Facebook. And one very powerful software is called Cantatious. This is a very powerful one. You got to pay 680 to just learn a little bit. Well, I'll cover most of which if you like to. And then we have this uh, capture software. Then the last, we talk a little bit about web design. I'm not teaching you how to write program, right? That is very tedious. Well, I will teach you how to, oh no, no, I'll show you. Uh, how to get a domain name hosting. In fact, the latest thing is uh, shortcut by just using the GitHub. We can, we can physically create a website free of charge. Some database, which is what we call the back end. And then if we are quite comfortable with it, we will continue. So far, okay now. Hello? Thomas, okay now, Thomas? Good, good. Very, very, very detailed, very good. No, 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 this yeah, one yeah. is only the thing about the iceberg. Uh, okay. So yeah, yeah, this, sure. This is this is the latest things uh, in town. Everybody talking about it. Social yeah, yeah, yeah. media, internet, uh, mm -hmm. uh, how to community engage. Uh. Nowadays, you don't see you don't simply just sell. Uh, nobody will buy from you. It's a word of mouth. How do you get words of mouth community? How do you get community? Social media. How do you get social media? We have to do our photograph and uh, video shooting nicely. Don't waste people's time like this. Like, you know, this is just a no longer, no longer a so-called lesson plan. This is a map, mind mapping. See, we can, we can branch here, branch there. Then straight away at the look of the picture, you know exactly what's happening. It's not a flow chart, it's a mind mapping. And this is also one of the, one of the techniques where the student will learn how to take notes. Like. Okay, so if you say, Okay, uh, then you give me a little bit of confidence to go a bit further. Uh. If I talk too much, please let me know. Uh, okay? Because according to Mr. Lim, most of you want to just listen only. Uh. So I will just talk. Uh, okay? All right. So next.
I have actually done quite a lot of uh, preparing for this. Uh. The first thing we want to go to Moodle system, very simple, you can sign in, right? Sign in and then you will have system like this here. This is called Moodle system. It's a website whereby you teach the student uh, how, to, how to learn, okay? And you can put your email and we can sign you in, we can enroll, we can form a groups. Right? If you're interested, then I'll let you uh, see how you work. Uh. But before that, let me show you what is a Scrum system. Uh. Just now I'm talking about Scrum system. So we go to another website. Uh, huh? okay, just, so there's a lot of website, but we can see left, right, and center. Uh, huh? So let's go to another website. So these are one of my another website. This is a social website. Huh? Okay, then we can come to so-called what we call a Moodle system. Okay, this is another Moodle system. We call a, I show you. Huh? Uh, okay, and this is where I teach my student most of it. Uh, I we can have a bit of it how how I have uh, left up with 2017. Uh. That just means uh, I didn't put it up because when I start teaching less, uh, I actually don't want to pay for the money. Uh. Then I actually cut off the website. Uh. So this is my old website, which I actually hasn't cut off yet. So if you want to see a fair bit of my student, uh, they buy cake for me and all this. Uh, you know, I have a student of 700, this is my American student. Uh, these are, these are a website that I put it very comfortable for myself. Okay, let's go to, oh, my website is click and click. Uh, and then anything you click, you go from here and left. Uh, okay. But before we go on, maybe we want to talk a little bit about this, uh, what is a Moodle? It's only a few minutes, two minutes. Uh. Let's look at it. Huh? If it Moodle more, is a free online learning you let me know. system we'll cut it over. enables educators to create their own private website filled with dynamic courses that extend One learning minute. anytime, anywhere. You can install Moodle for free on your own server or ask a Moodle partner to help set up a site for you. Once it's running, you can easily create online courses using our hundreds of built-in features. Upload your content, add gradable assignments and quizzes, and then add collaborative activities like forums, wikis, or glossaries to make online learning scalable, effective, and fun. Because our code is truly open source, you can further tailor your site with a huge variety of community-produced plugins or create your own new features. The Moodle platform is robust with over 10 years of development behind it. And today, more than 70,000 universities, corporations, and schools in over 200 countries and 100 languages, trust Moodle for their online learning needs. Moodle, powerful free tools to help you educate the world. Okay, let's look at what is the Scrum system where I was talking to you just now. This Scrum system is quite powerful. Uh, huh? It not only teach you, uh, you, you can actually have your quiz and all this. Uh, this is called a scrum system, right? And how it was made. Nowadays, people want to study at their own time, especially the student. So you, you provide this website to them, uh, 24 hour, seven, they can enter this website. They can call on demand. Any, any lesson that they want, they can just do it or any topic that they want. So this is just an example of Scrum system. So you see how powerful a Scrum system is uh, in a website. It look, it look exactly like a e-book. E uh. You see, you got all the title down on the left side. You see, if anything that you click, like for example, you want to know Scrum system, right? You just click here, the Scrum system will come out. So let's look at this one. Uh. 
Bear with me, uh, some are more power. I'll talk to you. Right COVID-19 has made home-based learning a buzzword and that stay safe drive has increased the traffic volume of social media applications via the internet in Singapore. This workshop intends to explore the popular learning management systems LMS to read, collaborate and assess the learning content and also to apply content creation management in the current social media applications. So there's nothing here. Lah. I mean, uh, you, you just introduced to the course. But the key point here is that the student can just click and answer question. Okay, for example, they want a learning system, we look at down here. So you have things like that here, you've got Moodle system. Then you can know what is a Moodle system, right? You can look by yourself. A learning management system, then, LMS. If you want to sleep, you can just click on and then listen. Now, most students will, will not Report listen when you teach them, but when you provide this to them, uh, on exam about the time, they will look into this. Learning, education courses or training programs. So this Moodle system, the powerful point is that tracking. So now we're tracking. Later I show you a little bit of what is tracking. Right, you can deliver, this is what you call lesson on demand. Okay, let's look at this Scrum system, right? What is a Scrum system? It's nothing, right? Scrum system is just shareable content, object. There's no meaning to them. But the question is that they can track. So these are part of the thing they can track in the Moodle system. They can track the student score, right? You can see which student is a lag behind. And we have some what we call exit ticket to check how much they have learned. So let's look a little bit here, okay? So just prepare for you some of this slide. Now. So the learning system now, we require some kind of a delivery, some kind of tracking, and also you have to register into the system. So later, I'll show you how you work. If I have a timer, I think I'll go five more minutes for or Moodle system only. No more mind, I just go through it. I think I will be overrunning. Okay, these are the whole West, web, these are what we call the waste, uh, what you call web hosting. Uh. It's already very old, up, uh, outdated already. Uh. There's many. Uh, 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 name cheap, uh, so many. Uh. Okay. This you have to pay money. Uh. And in the Moodle system, because so many roles, no? you have the administrative, you have the uh, what you call the cost creator and all this. La. That's why a school cannot afford to start this because they got pay a lot. And even in poly, in a uh, university, they talk a lot. They pay a lot of money to the school and the university. But nobody come out of Moodle system. This, this, this concept is only in uh, overseas, la, right? Where people, where the teacher are so delicate like me. Uh, the read we, component we start a system learning materials like that this, include uh, learner to help guides, the interactive and engaging e-learning content so e -learning, and access basically to speaking is a reading, such uh, as e-books, e e-journals, and e-databases. Collaborating. The collaborate component facilitates classroom-based meetings, online synchronous and asynchronous communications, and individual or group-based project work using e-journals or e-portfolios. And also the assess component assess. facilitates self-assessments as to reinforce learning, peer assessments to substantiate formative assessments, and summative assessments as to assess achievement of competencies. So this is uh, a little bit of idea of what Moodle is all about. Uh, huh? I think I got five more minutes for Moodle. I have a lot of things to talk about, but anyway, in a moment. Okay, so far, any question? Or, uh, hey, Thomas, I see your handsome face, man. How? You see, if you don't go into it, uh, you cannot learn. Uh. So let me show you a little bit. Uh, I try to avoid talking too much about hand-on. Uh. Uh, if I talk too much, uh, then maybe... But the only way to learn uh, is to hand-on. Uh. Let me show you a little bit about what is hand-on. We say you go into this, right? You can you can take your attendant. Of course, there are many ways you can mark attendant, but you can go into this and mark the attendant, and then I can check your attendant on my Google Drive. This is a Google form. Everybody knows what is Google form. But I am not wanting you to do it. But let's look at the participant. So you can check how many people are around here. You can see whether they belong to which group, group A, group B. 
right? So if you want to learn a little bit more, you should physically have to have a little bit of hand on. Nah. But anyhow, I didn't, uh, what do you call, go further to this nah, because it may take a lot of time. Nah. Next, maybe next time, if you're interested, nah, then, okay, you can add the course. Nah. When you add a course, you put a cross here, and then you can uh, physically add new course. Nah. You put new course, maybe you say, uh, PC club. Nah. Okay, then you can uh, put a short form, uh, put some. So to do it, to, to really learn, uh, you need a lot of time. Uh. But anyhow, I try my best. Uh, in this very short time, to see what I can to, to share with you. Uh. Then it's just safe. Uh. Then you can see your course is already developed here. Uh, right? This is the course. Uh. This is the course we are talking about. Uh. Then you already developed your own course, PC4. You also can enroll your student. Uh, the student enroll must have some email and all this. Uh. You can even group the student. Right. And then if we have more time, I can show you. Uh. And it's very interesting. This one more, I think, right? Now this one, uh, Lillian is my wife. Uh. I her as a teacher. Uh. They will change the role of teacher to student. Uh. Teacher and student are different, uh, right? Because they have certain rights. Now we go back to is a so-called normal. Right? So as a teacher, you can group the student. Why well, you need to group the student? Because uh, you can form assignment groups and all this. Right? So show you a little bit about how to add in the assignment. Right? You can add in the assignment here, but no meaning like if you are not teaching, but somehow rather, you must know how to use a Moodle system to get the thing done. The assignments come from here. This is assignment. So you want to put your assignment and you put PC, PC assignment. And it just saves. Okay, if you are if you're a student, let's go back to the role of a student. Then you can submit your assignment to your teacher, the teacher can mark oh, everything all online, uh, right? And then this is a student, uh, right? The student will come out, he can, he can look into all this, then he will submit, uh, he can submit the assignment, uh, he can submit the assignment. And if you go back to the teacher, the teacher can mark, uh, okay? the teacher will look at the assignment. Of course, here is the same thing, you can't see anything, you will look at stuff, uh, then he will mark and send back to you. Of course, you can't see much here because this is an empty one. Okay, this is the so-called completed one. Okay, just show you how, if you really want to practice, you can get this one free for 45 days. You go to this website, you can get it free for 45 days, you can practice. It's a website, right? You register, you give you 45 days, which you can practice and learn. Uh. And of course, they will charge you. Why they charge you? Because Moodle is free, but, but to install Moodle, it requires people like Mr. Lim. Uh. You need to have some technical knowledge. So this one is just putting inside, free for you. So what they charge you? Uh. But they give you 45 days here, you see 45 days. You can sign up for free. Just now that one was I signed up already. Huh? 
you click a new account, how this is the way you sign up. Lah. Okay, you just click, 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 click. So you agree, you agree, you agree, you agree. And you just put next. And then you put your name. Huh? Make sure you, you put your so-called email correct because they check your email with you and also uh, to confirm. Uh, so that you don't, uh, then you say you wish to receive everything. Then you will be you will be okay like like just now what I give it to you. So this is the way you sign in. Okay, this. This one we don't want anymore. So after you sign in, it will be like this. Uh. It will be like this, and what I showed you just now, uh, then this one. And then it will give you the password where you can sign in, and then the whole site will be like this. Uh. And then this is all you create inside. Of course, there's many things you can do. Uh. You can you can check with the teacher, right? For example, you want to check with the teacher. It's not a normal check, huh? The thing was be there, and uh, it's something like uh, what F and all this lah. Uh. So I'll just show you a little bit more detail uh, because this is an empty shell. It's difficult to show it to you, uh. and uh, because the motor system, uh, which I use, huh? Some some of which are free. Uh, you you cannot you cannot use it now uh, if you don't want their advertisement uh. So this uh Firefox uh, take away the advertisement so you cannot use it. Uh. So let me change to another website. So these are all the costs I put for my students. Is this so many calls I teach before? Right, and there's a lot of things inside here now. Uh. See how I shop, I, how I work with my students to serve with love and all this. You know. These are the things you can put photograph, you can put a happy face. Uh, these are my 72 old students when they teach in LSBF 2016. So you can, you can have quite a lot of things. I think it's a very you can have an MCQ and all this. Uh, right? You can set MCQ. And you can ask them to group up through a survey form uh, and then you can link them together. Right? You, can, you can provide them exam notes. Or you can have think pair and share kind of a form. You can have an MCQ. You can check the assignment. It's quite, quite useful. Like you can put a study note there. You can Use a survey form. Okay. Of course, there's many things I can show you, but I think very short spell of time I cannot. Okay. So we're already running out of time already. My budget for this uh Moodle is, is only half an hour. Okay. So far, any question or not? Hello. Because if you don't have hand on now, you physically learn nothing. Now. Maybe next lesson now uh, we can learn some more. I can show you, I can hold your hand. Okay, next thing we need to talk is about the uh, Google Classroom. Okay, Google Classroom. If you are still not tired, uh, okay, Google Classroom is very simple to use. Uh. So I show you a little bit of how, how to go to Google Classroom. Normally, I go to my Google Drive. I, why I want to go to Google Drive? Because I want to take, I want to take the, so in the Google Drive, you can go into your so-called sign in in the Google. Then you have a, this place that you put in Google Classroom. Everybody can do it, you know? And then there's a Google Classroom. It's a simple version form of Moodle system, much easier. You can check your student. If there is student already signed in, okay. You can mark the student. You can create assignment. Okay, but the important point is that you must know how to how to sign in. Uh. So there's many ways you can sign in. Uh. 
So let's go to the see this um, there is a so-called code uh, class code. So as a student, uh, you copy this code. Now I change to student. Uh, now this is the teacher. Uh, change to a student. So you sign this the way you sign in to attend your course. Uh. As a teacher, it's another ball game. Uh. Then you put here, join class, and just put a code here. And you join. Then you're already in. Uh. And now Jimmy, you know, this, one is, this one is J is the student, uh, it's already in. So you can have everything. Uh. Now let's go back to teacher again. Teacher don't sign in, uh. teacher will create course. Uh. So a teacher create course by putting down here. Okay, then you read something, then you create a course itself. And the course will come out, and this will be part of your course. Uh. Right, there's another course. And inside here, you can you can just put this what we call announce to the class. Announce to the class means you can put anything you want. Uh. You can add in your, your link, you can go to Google Drive, you can see the Moodle, you can add in your file. Right. You can add in anything that you want now. Uh. Let me put in the file. Then you post it up. Uh. You can also add in YouTube uh, if you have a YouTube link. Uh, right? So these are pretty simple. Uh. So if you really want to learn something about it, you have to play with it. Uh. So I have somehow or rather, if you have the interest, uh, I have this four link here. This following, can I can I use check or not? I cannot use check either. Mr. Lim, can I use check or not? Check on the Moodle, can, uh, check on the on the Zoom can or not? Can can uh? If I put this link here, you can you can you can practice lah. These are the link that are quite important. If I put in the check, maybe you can copy lah. Now see whether I can go to the chat. Let me stop this one first. Yeah, can, can, I can, I can. So I put on the chat uh, here. Uh. Okay. This is the four link here in this check, this link. Uh. This first link is the Moodle system 45 days. This one, you can learn how to register. This one, uh, you can go to a school platform or you can act yourself as a teacher or student to play with it. And this one is my Moodle system. For example, this one, you just click on it. Something will happen. But let me, let me not mess up everything first. Go back to my screen again. Otherwise, okay, I show it to you if you have a click. Okay, now come back to my screen again. So you just come to here. This school platform is for you to play around. You click on here, you have a school platform to play with. This is a school platform. Okay, you can sign in as a teacher. Teacher, this is a teacher. Your password is Moodle, and then you log in. If you are a student, you sign in as a student. So it's better to sign in as a teacher like, because if you want to learn the program free of charge, huh? this one is all the time there. Like. Then you go to any course you want to. For example, you go to digital course. Like. Right. Then you can do everything you want. Like. Then you can act like what I have just done. Now. You can act in notes, act in assignment, act in scrum system. Right? You can act in, right? You can add database, you can add any question. Let me show you a little bit of how to add in the question. Question is very important because without that question, uh, you cannot gauge the students' uh, function uh, and how well they learn. 
to add a question uh, to your model system, you just simply add here. Uh, uh, and then you put a uh, question here. Okay, question. And then you just put question. Uh, for example, today is PC Club, right? Of course, there is many type of question. Uh. There are uh, many, many type of question like uh, soft question, uh, two and false uh, matching question. Uh, I just simply take this question first. Okay. Then you just, very simple, just click save. Uh. Okay, after you save, uh, you can see, okay, PC card question here, right? Then you go to edit, then you go to You, you got to take some question from somewhere. So the question you take is actually from the question bank where we can couple into this area. So after you add in, uh, the question will be there and then you can uh, use your question. I'll show you how the question will look like. Uh, you, also can, you also can import from other question, uh, from the other course, uh, and it's very flexible. Uh, you can do left, right, and center. But let's look at this one first. How you answer the question, how beautiful the question is being done. The shortcut from here is here. So any of my course now we have some question now. Let's check the MBA course. Now. This is the MBA class I, I conducted in 2016. Now. So there's a lot of things that can be faced in this model system. You say, wonderful. You can even send Christmas card. You can check their progress. You can alert them. See? You can show them all these kind of things. You can put things for them to read. Okay, they can, you can line up the assignment. You can ask them to open the course question. You can also put a lot of things here for them to look into. Uh, for discussion. Take another one. Take another one. You can show the class schedule. We're going to have some joke together, right? Yeah. <laughs> so, kind of a not all the time study. Uh. There is an MCQ question for them to practice. Uh. But this is not a question like this. This is for them to see first. Uh. After that, they must take some action. And the real action is in the MCQ question. Uh. And see good question is like this here. Okay. And you can reattempt. Right. The question is something like this. Uh. Then you can click here, go to the next question. Pretty wonderful. Uh. I didn't look read really, I just show you how it's done. It's quite easy to set this question. This question also can import from the text file. Of course, that's another trick. Right? 
and you put in a bank up just now when you edit you can just put it inside your your file okay i don't want to go further than this because there's a lot of questions down here so this is the way you do the question you have to finish it then you can see the result okay so i cannot see the result because i think there's a 20 question down here after finish, they will tell you the result, which one go wrong, how many points you score, how long you take, right? Because it's a 20 percent take a little bit of time. Right? Okay, so far, a fair bit of a uh, Moodle system and uh, this uh, Google Classroom. Huh? If, so we talk a little bit of Simon Layout US, this is all covered. Huh? So far, any question or not? Don't help, we go to the next one. Is this okay with you? Is it okay? The next one we'll talk about. Sorry? Sorry? Uh, any? No, no, I mean, you want me to carry on or you want? Sorry? Sorry? Actually, you cannot follow what you are talking, you know? Yeah, of course, you cannot follow. <laughs> if you want to follow, that's why I say. That's why I say. That's if you I really say. want. Sorry? Sorry? If you really, you know, this, one, really this one, the questions, what are the questions? Because you go so fast, huh? we don't know what it's all about. The question and the right answer, wrong answer, who teach them, where do they learn? Don't know, all of us are lost. I'm very lost. Huh? I, I think others are also very lost. Don't know what you're talking about. Because you go very fast. You keep saying, well, you're, 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 you, you go very fast. Okay. You see, you ask questions. What are the questions? And then you go to, must go take one sentence uh, and then go to A, B, C, D, and then, then we learn something. No, no, the quest the concept is not the um, I mean the concept is not to let you see what is the question, how to answer the question, learn the question. The concept is how how the question was being being reviewed, how to put the question in. And you cannot you cannot know the question unless you practice la. Practice take time. Eh? Yeah. So, it, so if I let you practice, if I go part by part, I cannot finish all this. La. It's up to you. La. That's why I say up to you. You want me to go slow down, then I can go slow down. I can go back to Moodle again, but we can only cover these two these two topics. So as as what I have talked to Roy and Mr. Lim. Uh, uh, this is my first encounter with you. Lah. So this is just an overview. You know. you just to let you know this thing, we have something like this happening. And if you're really interested to go further than that, well, then we can have a more detailed section. In fact, to teach you how to do water system is 30 hours, not 30 minutes. Eh. To understand the water system, how to, how to set the question, how to import the question, how to group. If, if I don't go that fast, huh, I cannot show you what Moodle system can do. Now I only show you what you can do. See, so for example, I show you again one more time. Huh? I show you one more time. Huh? For example, this one. Huh? I show you, I show you. I can go slow, no problem. But I can only cover one or two subjects. Say for example, this one. I can show you, but my part, I can show you. I can show you slowly, very, very, very slowly. Three questions here only. Okay. I can show you. So, if you want to know this, these are not important. This is just a question. If you want to understand all this, try to understand all this. Now, this is a degree cost question. Of course, you cannot, you cannot waste time trying to answer all this. But I am not going to explain to you what is this, what is this. I just show you that this is the question and this is the proper answer. If you got wrong answer, you got wrong comments. Okay, let's say the next one. Huh? You put this one. Huh? Not the detail of the question, how the question was set and how the question was marked. See, finish already. Then I submit the question, four questions. I can show you. Then you have here, 
right? How many days you take to do the job? What is your score? Which part you go wrong? Which is the correct answer? You see? That one I can show you there, but now three questions only. But I'm not going to teach you a statement of work is like what? Then I teach you about project management already. That one take 24 hours course eh, to answer this question. Eh. So I'm not going to teach you this one. Eh. What I want to teach you is that how Moodle system can do. As a teacher, you don't set questions so difficult not to your student. You set a question. This is a random question I picked for my course. Uh, set a question. How you set a question? How Moodle system can set a question? How they can mark the question? How can they store the question? How they can technically uh, save your time? Okay. Okay. Lah. So. Mr. Ong. Yeah. Um, in all fairness, I do understand what you're going through just now. And your pace is all right with me. Yeah. Perhaps, um, Dr. Ho, was it because you came in later in the session? That's why you couldn't catch it. Yeah, sorry. I did come in later. Please carry on. Yeah, just a minute, just a minute. It's no problem. Just just view your opinion. I I I think I am very too ambitious. La. I like to cover too many things and try to show you what things can be done, what things cannot be done. I'm not, but if I were to go in detail la, for showing you how to do it now, that's why I tell Mr. Lim, I need your email, I need you to sign in, I need you to sign in as student, I need you to have have a hang on on it now. That will take already, locking in will take more than one hour already. So I think defeat the purpose of this course uh, because I understand from Mr. Ling, this is basically a talk. So talk, uh, then I, I think this is more than a talk already. I, I try to induce more thing to you. Uh. Okay, if you are okay, let, uh, then I will go, I will continue. Uh. Is it okay? Hello? Hello? Yes, it is. It's okay. Yeah, I'm so sorry uh, because I, 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 uh, I'm not used to, to conduct class to, to this type of club. Like actually, I used to train in a workshop, right? Of course, naturally, it's not at this space. Uh, you see, uh, you will come out and you will explain to me, and then I will coach you and things like that. But uh, now it's a bit different. Okay, let's 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 see about how I can improve next time. So sorry about that, uh, huh? But my purpose is just to share with you the knowledge that I have. Okay, so this to this and this are uh, we are a little bit off target already. So eight thirty we should be here already, huh? So these are the engagement tools, uh. So I told you I will show you what is the engagement tool. How do we teach the kid nowadays? You see, teaching adult and teaching kids now are totally different ball games. And kids in the school, I used to train a few MOE students. They are totally different. And you may surprise, they, 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 they are very, very good at artificial intelligence, deep learning. And these are really new to us. So I try to share with you. I'm no good at this, but I know about this because I train them. Okay, I will show you what is this? La? Okay, let's go to the next one. Now we are, to, now we are on here, la, about 8.30 already, right? Okay. So when we train the student, the ball game a bit different. Now we're talking about training students, engage the student. And it's uh, for the kid uh, that's uh, much uh, younger in Asia. So you'll be surprised in school, we talk so much about this pedagogy. We talk about the concept of this uh, machine language. We talk about Python. Of course, Mr. Ling knows very well. And we talk about IA. We talk about deep language. Nobody understand. People thought it's very difficult. Actually, it's not difficult. If you have a time, we can spend and we can learn. Because the time when we do a robot movement, we repair robots, we uh, in a poly, we physically write a program. We don't use Python. We use a very powerful language called uh, 
Motorola A600. That's a machine language. And nobody knows. Then we will burn the e-prong and then we we'll drive the leaf. And, and we gone to that stage. But now today, students learn the easy way. So let me show you how did they learn, how we are trained to train the student. Sort of in the first uh, so-called ball games we need to play with now is what is design thinking? The design thinking, what is design thinking? A boom, takes it, not me, everybody know uh, or different type of uh, so-called uh, learner, everybody know. Uh. So it's different what type of learner we have, we teach. But different what level we teach. And we will look into uh, what is a uh, design thinking. But I will not explain further uh, because it takes a lot of time. So if you want further, then we will talk a little bit more in detail. What, what I want to show you to you is that how the student understand all this. Uh. This one takes some time to explain, uh, but I just give a few charts. Uh. I will try to show you the charts. So let's talk a little bit about design thinking. Why people talk about design thinking? Why people talk about user experience? Why? And what is different between design thinking, Six Sigma, and colorblind and all this type of thing with color brain? Because we are talking about nowadays, everything, every product they introduce, we require a few things. We, re we require emotion. So the first thing that start, everything that trigger on, uh, it should be empathy. This part is called empathy, right? Whether it's desirable or not. And of course, whatever is in, inside here, you have the uh, innovation and things like that. Uh. So it, viable means you have to somehow rather make money uh, for the product that you sell. Uh. For example, now I'm teaching you as a student, I must make sure how you feel. That's why I always ask you, oh, how, how, how are you? Then, okay, you say, oh, you learn nothing. You know, I try to explain. Uh, so, but anyway, whatever is it, everything means time. And now we talk about technology. Now, how you use technology to teach the student? How? How you teach the student AI? How you teach the student machine language? Well, there's a wonderful way that MIT teach us to teach the student. So later I'll show you uh, how to teach the student and how to use Java language uh, to program without letting understanding what is Java language? Just use a block. And this will make you make them interest in Java learning in future. La. So design thinking and user experience is an in thing. La. Okay, so I show you this one, huh? This is uh, using a program, animation program called Scratch. And they are so cleverly programmed in such a way that the way the student is being trained is uh, geared by technology. That's why just now we talk about technology. Is it feasible or not? So in order to teach, so-called coding to the student. Now I'm teaching the student in the in the uh, MOE school. Uh. So this one I share my knowledge with you. Uh. It's, it's quite a difficult task. Uh. You must use program like this. So we go to MIT M to get a stimulator. You don't have to understand what the stimulator was, but somehow or other stimulator is being used. Huh? So this is a stimulator. This stimulator train, train. You train the machine. You train somebody. Training means, IA means, actually you might, you try to do as close as a human brain would think. But you don't physically program everything in. For example, uh, you may be a very clever doctor, right? Who's very good in uh, surgery. So when you 
no longer in the hospital, then everything gets lost. So we are trying to learn how you diagnose the sickness. Nobody can diagnose the sickness like expert professor. So you will train them and make them learn and then make a, somehow or other uh, them to do your work. So that when the, when the surgeon is not there, this program can help. Okay, this is a very simple program to teach the student. Uh. We only just put a few. Uh, huh? You will show a happy face uh, when it's cute, clever, and critical. When I say you're cute, then you will physically show a happy face. Uh. Then if I say naughty, then you will show a sad face. Uh. Okay, so this is this is uh, somehow or rather key into the computer. Uh. But remember, uh, I don't key in handsome here, you know. I don't key in uh, so-called uh, things that is not inside here. But then somehow or other, they can recognize after they're being trained. Something like GPRS. Uh, every time you go through the road now, uh, the GPRS will gear you towards the road. Even the road is not the shortest road because they already learn the road that you travel most and they program to follow. So this is what we call AI. AI is actually, you have to learn and come out a display. So let's go to this. So we make the we make the program into the AI and keep into this uh, so-called software animation software. And look at this face here. Right. Of course, we have to make three costume here, three different costumes. This one I just simply draw. If a smile, if a sad, right? But the beautiful part of it is that how you key in and how this thing was being displayed. So these are the program, uh, the student, uh, maybe three weeks before have to write this program. This is actually a program. Forever if one, this is actually Java language. Uh. This is equal, this is an equal sign. This is a costume. And we pull out from here, we pull down here. The key point is asking a question. Please give your comments, right? And then if you say, you put uh, clever, right, you expect a happy face ah. it takes some time ah, because the computer have to learn ah. these are done by the student they are not done by me the student can do all this I only just coach them only. you look at this one is neutral right? so when we key in travel we will expect to have a happy face ah, right? Their happy face memory, right? This one, no, no big deal. This is not AI, one. This is actually nothing because this is logic only, one, right? But for a machine language to materialize, it had to be do better than this. Now we put not here. Hopefully, the result come out it should be a sad face, one. This one is only the recycle. They reset. It takes some time I go through. More, the machine is now learning. That phase eventually come. So next, we key in, not inside what we expected. Uh. We never key him handsome, but now we key him handsome. Uh. So the computer or the machine uh, or the AI uh, should be able to sense it. Uh. But this one is not programmer. Uh. 
then they learn to understand this. Uh. Let's see this one. And the program is all here. This is a program. Yeah. Hampson becomes smiling face. You see? So this is uh, the way the student was being teach now. Huh? The concept of uh, AI. Uh. There, there are many programs, but these are only one of them. Okay, so I also have a few, but I don't know whether to show you or not. Anyhow, there's also one more. I may want to show you the maze. This maze was written by me using PC Story. PC Story was what I show you the ebook, right? Let's have a look. This is another ebook which I've written, right? So in order to learn Java language, we have to go through all this stage. We have to prepare the animation. You have to add in another character. This is called a stage. This is where they write the program. And students like this today, they in the primary three to primary six, they are doing all this. In our time of primary three, we cannot do this. Now they are doing all this because the school want them to learn coding. So these are coding in the sky. And in order to understand where this one goes through, you must understand this axis. Right? And this program physically will, will be so, so powerful that also give you a question. You must answer the question, then you will go to the next stage. But this program was, this uh, so-called PC story was written by me. Next one, huh? Now this one I can slowly explain. Okay, so what are the two exit, right? X and Y exit. Then you submit, lah. Same thing, lah. Then you continue. You say, oh, correct. You see? Ah, uh, then what is our original? Lah, can it zero zero or what? Then center or then zero zero, lah. If it's not, then you say you're correct. Okay, top left or right? It's up to you, lah. And you see, if the mouse, which code move the spike to the center. So just click on. right or wrong, doesn't matter. Okay. So they'll let you know oh, how many percent you write, then you can review your place. And this, this is not a program, this is just a PC story, storyline. And it's so powerful using this. Uh, it's a kind of ebook. E they can they can they can do something like this. Uh. Show you the incorrect point. Okay. And also we can show the program, how the program works. Right. When you come to this part now, huh, how this one will make some noise. Huh? Right. So this one is quite some take quite some time to explain. Huh? So when you touch, when you touch the wall, it will go reverse. When you reach, huh, they will sound hooray, all this, huh? you know, they shout hooray. hooray. You no, know? things like this. Huh? It's quite marvelous. La. I mean, uh, primary school students are learning coding this way. It's not easy. La. That's why as a teacher, when we teach them, uh, our job is not, wasn't that easy too. La. Okay. Let's shift this on. I don't know whether it's useful to you or not, but anyhow, this is part of my presentation. If you have, uh, you want to say something or you want to, want to discuss something, if not, then we'll go to another area of uh, game teaching. It's around here, around here. Okay, I suppose we only have 15 minutes. Okay. So I, in order to go a bit slow, huh, you need to participate. Lah, but I don't know whether I should ask you to participate. It take quite some time. But I just show you. Lah, huh? Okay.
So next one we talk about is near port. Uh. Near port is a game, simple game, uh, game tools, uh, whereby you can sign in. Uh. Sign in and play games. Uh. But it's not only simply play games, uh, there's a lot of things which you can. I just show you this. So we, we, we can display a picture. Huh? So these are the, these are the code again. Huh? If, if later, if you want to play the game, it's a very wonderful game. And the game is asking you question. And all the students, huh? who sign into the game or the challenges are there and they have a score and they have a lot of music. Okay, but now we just need the show first now. Henry Ford was the president of Ford Motor. There will be question at the end. A selected candidate for the post of CEO was round up to have a lunch session with him. Over the lunch, at the beginning of taking the food, the would-be CEO, without asking Mr. Ford, put pepper on his plate. Without taking the lunch, Mr. Ford, just walk away. You know the reason as to why this incident happens? So a very simple question, right? Expect to be answered, right? These are questions supposed to be answered by the student. Right? So there will be games here, right? And then if you want to play the game, if you don't want to play the game, it's okay. Lah. Then you will take this code. Lah. But before, before you do anything, lah, you must physically uh, use Google Play to install the program lah, called Near Port. Lah. Then uh, you put in this code, lah, then it will work. Lah. Then it will work. Then you can see the effect of it. Then That's what Ron, I try to show you on my side. So if you're a handphone now, it's just key in the code. But the code is nine two six F Z. So if, if what the student do is interactive, lah. now this is what I'm doing. Lah. Now you just put, I put my name as Jim. Lah. I put my name as Jim. And then I join the class. Lah. After I join the class, I will be asked. Now you cannot see it because it's on my side, together with a handphone. Lah. Then you will have to somehow data key in the See, wonderful picture here, right? This one will not start uh, if you all you're are not participating. Uh, because if you key in, uh, then your name will be all down here. Uh. But now I have only one student, that's myself. Uh. Now I key in myself, then I start. Oh, now you start already. See, this is myself, Mr. Jean, as a student. Uh, I key in, but there will be a lot of students around here. Around here, that will be answer the question. Now you cannot see the question because the question is with the student. Then the student will answer the question. Then now on my side, I will answer the question. And we start now. Now I'm answering the question now. So the gym now have a score. If you have many, many students, uh, the class of uh, 30 or 40, uh, then it was very exciting. 
and then we are alone. student uh, how to play games and answer questions. Uh. Okay. So the first part is the is the video. The student can see at their own space. And the second part is a question. You cannot see unless you play the game on your side in the handphone. Uh, and then you can answer the question. Wrong, you can try again. Uh. So it's quite wonderful uh, the way of teaching the student. Okay, next is the palette. I show you what is the palette. Huh? Palette is a very useful tool huh, for the teach teacher to use. Huh? And uh, it's a very interactive. Actually, palette is a bulletin board. Huh? Show you a little bit here. Huh? I go back to my motor system. Well, everything is in my motor system. Let's talk a little bit about that. Let's see. We will use the Scrum system back again. Eh? COVID-19 has made home-based learning a buzzword and that stay safe. This is the engagement tools, all right? We are talking about these two, Nearport. So we have all this, right? This one means nothing, it's just a PowerPoint, right? This is what you can do to have some wow factor to a student, right? You can explore. It's quite easy, but for a teacher, but you can even draw, just now I didn't show you, you can draw. Yeah, you can draw. And, that's too, and through survey, students learn from drawing. Uh. You can post, you can do a lot of things, uh, but I shortcut that. So this is the so-called e-learning books like, in the Moodle system. So when you press engagement, engagement will come out. Like. When you press better, better will come Padlet out. Padlet is a virtual wall that allows people to express their thoughts on a common topic easily. It works like an online sheet of paper where people can put any content, for example, images, videos, documents, and text anywhere on the page, together with anyone, from any device. Well, these are one of my palette. Later, I show you the life, how it look like. So to a teacher and a trainer, you can use for all this. Right, formative TEF, uh, formative assessment, uh, and submissive assessment is a bit different. What it means you, you is a trial run, right? So you can a lot of trial run assessment around here and some brainstorming session on this. And you can use this to do all the things that we need to do, la. read, collaborate, la. mostly on the collaboration side, right? And tracking. Okay, since you have this, let's go to the actual written board. Just show you, huh? show here. Yeah. Because for you to key in, uh, I think 
it takes quite some time. I try to ask somebody to key in. Okay, let's go to my website again. Shortcut again from my website to the bulletin board. Now, this is the bulletin board. Now. See, you can, you can put all those things for you to scan. So if you have a, if you have a handphone, you can scan here, you can go directly in, you can have a lot of things out there. You can comment, you can just key in your comments here. Right, other people also can key in the comments and you can access, right? Oh, this is a kind of a electronic bulletin board, la. but it's quite useful. La. When you, you can add in your notes, you can add in the website, so these are simple bulletin board, another one actually. This is another picture. I have three here. If you want to have three, you can only have three. Here. More you have to buy. This is mine. Okay, this one you can go into my shop. This, uh, this is my e-learning website. Very simple, uh, create to sell. Okay. Okay, so I have uh, covered some of this now. Huh? So, so far, okay, no, huh? or you want to me to continue again? Hello? Hello? Everybody okay, no? I'm so sorry, I cannot make it more detail if I want to cover all this. Huh? I don't know whether to cover more detail or what. So maybe I will shortcut and think which is, which is more interesting to you. Okay, we have covered this part. And as you say, you learn nothing from here because I go very fast, right? If I don't go very fast, I cannot show you all the thing which, this is not for you to do. This is for you to have some overview only so that you can understand uh, now teaching standard in uh, primary school, what kind of standard? How are they being pressed to write coding in a uh, different way? Okay, and this one is for the higher level student. And this is the tracking of the Moodle system. I didn't show all uh, because it takes a lot of time. So now we come to social media. If there's no question, we go to social media, right? Social media, we talk about Instagram, we talk about Facebook. Everybody have an Instagram and Facebook. I don't know what level of a, uh, uh, knowledge most of us have. La. So that's why I didn't go too much further into all this. La. Because if you go to my website, my, I can only think that the thing that go through is that you have to do the advertisement. La. What, to teach the advertisement and to write a page out within the Facebook, huh? we take some time. Oh, this is my website, another website, which I have the Facebook here. Right. So my Facebook is uh, just simply a Facebook. Of course, I, I presume everybody have a Facebook over here. So I don't want to go too far than this. Uh, because you can, you can put a story, you can put a page, Also the Instagram. Yeah, Instagram, all this, no?
So I try not to go too much into this because we don't have so much time. Let's cover the more important subject. I was just scouting around and I come across this and I was shocked. I was shocked. Uh, this, this few topic uh, is actually very simple and they are charging 680 for this. 680 for this course, they ask you to register. And I must admit this course is good, lah, but I don't think it's worth $680 you pay. Right, if you are interested to learn about Cantatius, lah, it's a very powerful tool, lah, right? Then we can, we can explore further on this. Lah. Okay, so now I want to show you the beautiful of uh, how Cantasia get things done. But before that, I want to show you what Cantasia can do lah, so that you'll be interested to learn about Cantasia. These are Cantasia 2019. It's a very powerful video editing software. There's a lot of things we can learn from here, no end one. You start new project. You can import everything inside, import the media. Media can be in everything. Like it can be in uh, video form. It can be in uh, any form. It can be in, in uh, picture form. It can be in logo form. Right? You can you can put your logo. Right? So you just import this one in. To be found. And this is a file importing. It's a big file. Uh. Once you import, you come down here. Right, you can you can play with it. But there's a lot of things you can do. Uh. Right. You can have animation, you can have effect, you can separate here, for example, here. It's a short one. Uh. You can see here. Right. You can you can separate between sound and vision. Very powerful. So you can also add, you can also add a library inside. You can even add a introduction. Very easy to add the introduction. Yeah, so wonderful introduction you can interact with it. Yeah. You can add translation. Okay, but uh, Mr. Ong, uh, is this a, is this a, a video editing software? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Video editing software is very powerful. If you want, if you if you want is to it, conduct, is it free? Uh, is it free? Uh, it's, it's not free. Uh, it's not free. But uh, you can compare to open shot, na? Sorry, sorry. Open shot is uh, is free. Open yeah. shot. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I mean, there there are many there are many editing software, la, But I think this one is very flexible and also very powerful, la. Okay, maybe just look a little bit of what what can you do. The the thing is that what what. No, the thing is that what you can do with the software is important. If we want to express, uh, we... sorry, sorry, what you want to say? Huh? I can't hear you. Go on, it's your echo. Echo come from where? From you. 
，阿麦个一个啦。Now we can hear you. Your mic is off. Okay, so okay lah, never mind. So, uh, I know there are many software. Uh, there are many, many, many software lah. I know there are many, but then uh, I think this one uh, is a very powerful one. So I will show you how it is powerful lah. Right, let me show it, share with you some of my video that I have made lah. Yeah, very very nice lah. Mr. Ong, for novice, yes. Yes. Uh, simplicity is most important than how, how powerful it is, uh, simple to use. Actually, this one is very simple. Right? If you know about it, it's very simple. It's very straightforward. I have many, I have also many, many software programs, uh, but I find this one is very easy. Is I might me already? Uh? No, no. You can hear me, right? Hello? Can? Can, can. Okay, can, can, can. Okay, can, 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 can. Let's see a little bit uh, some of the some of the wonderful. Also, there is also a lot of program uh, we can talk about. Uh, but I quite well versed with this one and also some of the video scribe. Uh. You heard about video scribe? Uh? Uh, the nowadays are uh, very popular uh, scratching software. Uh. NGB, you actually kind of drawn cartoon. Uh. Okay, let's look at this. Uh. I think this is a video making by quite wonderful. Uh. Very simple. Uh. You see, you can zoom. Very simple. Very simple thing. But important thing is that the zoom is important. Eh. Not, not every person can use a zoom. This zoom, you see this zoom? Very powerful zoom. Zoom and pen. Save some time, lah. Huh? Okay, so I just show you a little bit only, lah. Like a lot of things, you you need some time to to. It's not difficult, you know. This one is very simple, very simple to use. Of course, you say, of course, you say, a hey, lah. But of course, there is a lot of pirated one, lah. I'm using the pirated one. Free for life, lah. But you must know how to how to do la. So pirate, you have to be very careful. 99 percent After you use it na, your computer bye bye already. But you must know how to how to kill the kill the so called virus la, after you put it in. You put some some uh, antivirus program you can set up. Okay. So snack, I show you a little bit of the snack. Uh, snack Nick, uh. Snack Nick actually is a capturing software. I will come back to Cantasia if you have a time uh, because it's a very interesting tool. Uh. I can show you how easy it is. That's how a lot of people is learning. 
I think many people in Singapore are not using the, the actual software. Actual software is cost six hundred over dollar. Oh, a pirated one. Can use that. Uh, this is a pirated one. Okay, so let's look at this. Uh, what this one can do? Uh, this one. This one can capture. Uh, huh? Capture. It's very powerful capturing software. I want to capture my wonderful face, I'll just capture the very simple. Uh. Okay. Immediately you can save it. You can swing to feet, you can zoom. Yeah, zoom not so nice. Both to exercise. Of course, there's a lot of features you can do. Huh? You can stamp, you can prop, you can rub, you can write, you can scratch everything you can. Huh? The feature of this, the feature of this uh, whiteboard is not so nice. Uh, but I think, I think this uh, Microsoft uh, knows is better. This one is much better to use. So let's talk a little bit about website. I I don't know I don't know what we are talking about this domain name hosting. I think Mr. Lim know very well. So if you're wasting his time, listen to me. But I have some trick here. I mean, you are if you were to if you were to do a website for people. Right, you have to buy a domain name, right? right? And then you must also uh, buy a hosting services. Uh, and then you must also, also know the front end and back end, how it works uh, to do a proper website to do well. Uh, because the database itself uh, actually is a full stack one. Uh, it takes a lot of time uh, to explain. Uh, so I don't go to this. Uh, so I just show you the trick huh, to get free website huh, and also free hosting service. Huh. I think that's more important. Huh. Okay, for a beginner, for a beginner, I would recommend you, like Moodle is, do not have to buy a domain name. Uh, these are, uh, if you use a third-party software like Weebly, Striking, you know, you, or Wix, you don't have to buy a domain name because the, it's a third-party, but, but at the end of the day, you, you will see the logo there, so it's not very professional. See, so I show you the difference between a logo and the different logo. This one no logo, behind no logo. I mean, this is a professional, somehow or other domain name and hosting services. Uh. Okay, this one, this one also the same, uh, no logo one, uh, right? But you see this one, there'll be a lot of difference. Uh. So people will know already what type of standard you have. Uh. If you have this, this logo here, I mean, no standard really. Uh. This one, uh, you are not writing anything. Uh. It's, just, it's just simply key in to the website and take a template and do it, but it can be very powerful also. Right? So it depends, and this one is used with, at least it's a semi, uh, semi website. Right? That means you, you, you use domain name, but you install, uh, we, uh, uh, what do you call, WordPress inside. Uh, WordPress is very powerful because they have a lot of uh, plug-in. Uh. So the GIP one, uh, let's look at the GIP one just now. I already show you this one. Okay, this GIP one, if you are interested, it's so simple. You just go into the new database, key in your name. You don't have to have the 
hosting, uh, you don't have to have everything. You just put the thing around here. And you, you add here, add the name inside. This uh, donkey work, uh, but you must know how to pull the long donkey uh, to get the thing done. Uh. The very first time you try, you cannot get it done. And then you upload it. Uh, uh, but you must commit the chain. Uh. And this is very simple. HD ML uh. Of course you didn't do you you don't understand anything uh. but if you really want to do we have to go step by step into this uh. and you have to change to change here from none to main. And you see your website published just like that. You use this one, this one will be your website. And just now the one turn around, the one is the website. You see, so you can create a website for free. And it's very powerful. As long as you put your asset and image inside, you can do a very powerful website without spending money from your domain name and hosting services. Okay. Oh, it's only 9.15, so sorry. Uh. Okay, so my, my, I actually jumped here in that uh, and I'm so sorry I didn't teach you anything. I just say I will be showing you, but anyhow, today is just the starting. Uh. So far, any question? Uh? Hello? Hello? No, no question. Uh. Can you talk more about uh, Camtasia? Uh, talk more about Camtasia. Did you say that that is a pirated copy? Yeah? You can you can do the pirated one. You can you can do that. So how Have you, you heard of uh, Open Shot? I never heard of this. That that is uh, quite good. Uh. It's for it's by donation. But I, I always I always I I always have a feeling. I always really I, I always have a feeling that uh there's a not paid one cannot be paid. You see the easy scratch huh? and the video scrap huh? it's different now. You pay is different. Eh? Yes. Maybe now we go sometime show a little bit of uh, show a little bit of can I just show you a little bit of the YouTube now, can yeah okay. I just show you YouTube what it, what the editing can do lah. Better there, okay. uh, better lah, better. So only a few more minutes. Uh. Because sometimes it's quite difficult to get through things uh, because we are getting a uh, high memory and also Wi-Fi things. Not easy to get what we want. Uh. I want to go into my YouTube. I do. I got quite a lot of uh, video. Maybe it's quite quite well done. Uh, can show. Because I'm blocked by this one. Right? Let's wait with me for a while. I'm going to my YouTube.
she can do this. Quite wonderful. Very simple. It's not very wonderful, eh? very nice. Eh? I like it very much. See? It's not difficult. How to convert Google Form to be mobile friendly? Why is it for you to use to facilitate see? this? Why is it for you to get people voice inside? And there's also Using the column in Bootstrip Studio V5, insert the iframe of Google Form into the HTML file and add additional style into it. You see the first part? This swinging in there, uh, no, not many of them can do this. Uh. Show you another one. See, it's uh, quite wonderful. Uh. See, you can do it like this. You can put your logo here. It's not very, very professional. It is something what? Like. Okay, I have show some for you. I put show a little bit more. It's not also quite on the floor, this one. This one is make my canvas. Huh? This one is using embedded, embedded on the software. You can make the car move and change some, some trick uh, here and there. Uh, and you look very wonderful with the Pantages. I have... Okay, I think I, I, I have <laughs> tired you quite a lot already. So let's talk. Uh. Anything else? Uh? Of course, I didn't finish most of the things that I supposed to do. Like, I have a lot of things to show, like, but because too many things I wanted to show, I show nothing. <laughs>